In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use OBS to go live on Instagram, coming up. Hey guys, my name is Hafiz and welcome to Roll Record. On this channel, I teach beginners how to make videos. I also share helpful tips and tools that can help you get started and go further in your video making journey. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Also, links and timestamps to everything that I mentioned in this video can be found in the description box down below. Going live on Instagram is one of the best ways for you to reach and interact with your followers. Now, if you've ever gone live on Instagram, you would know that from a creative standpoint, there isn't much you can do within the app to enhance the look of your live video. But what if you want to make it look and feel more you? For example, by adding a personal touch like text and graphics. Well, you actually can with a tool called Yellow Duck. But before you get all excited, my dear friends, there are some things I need you to be aware of. Number one, this is more of a workaround rather than a solution. I say this because Yellow Duck is not recognized by Instagram as an official app or tool. Number two, privacy concerns. You need to trust Yellow Duck with your Instagram login details. Yes, it is required. I'm not trying to scare you, I just feel that it's my responsibility to let you guys know so that you can decide for yourself if you want to give this a go or not. So with that out of the way, let's continue. Alright, let's start by talking about how you go about going live on Instagram. Normally with a tablet or a phone, you run the Instagram app, click on the live button and then you are able to go live. But with Yellow Duck, the process is slightly different. You need to be on a computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, and then download and install Yellow Duck from yellowduck.tv. But that's not all. You need to have a streaming software like OBS to work alongside Yellow Duck to be able to include all the creative graphics and text. What is OBS, you ask? OBS is a free streaming and recording software. If you are not sure about OBS or if it's your first time hearing about it, don't worry. You can follow the link right here for a video I made a while back on OBS. I would encourage you to watch that first and feel free to come back here to finish the rest of this video. But if you'd rather continue watching, let's move on. Let's go ahead and run OBS. The first thing we'll do is change the resolution of our canvas. Normally, it's horizontal, but for stories, it's vertical. So we need to change the resolution to 1080 by 1920 instead of 1920 by 1080. So as you can see now, that looks right. Now, the beauty of OBS is that you can add in your own creative touch to the video. So I'm going to be adding some elements to the canvas to make my Instagram live video look even better. If you want to learn how you can go about doing this, check out my Canva video right here. Let me show you now how to use Yellow Duck and OBS together to go live on Instagram. So the first thing you need to do is open Yellow Duck and type in your Instagram login details. Upon successful login, you will then see this window. You have the RMTP server URL and the stream key. Now go to OBS and under preferences, look for stream. Under service, select custom. Copy and paste the RMTP server URL and stream key from Yellow Duck here respectively. Please remember that you shouldn't share the stream key with anyone. Then click OK. All you need to do now is to click on Start Streaming to go live. Just a quick tip, please be sure to be ready because as soon as you click on the Start Streaming button, you are immediately live on Instagram. All right, just before we get to the end, a few last things for you to take note of. Number one, when you want to end the stream without any errors, do it in this order. Stop the stream in OBS first, and then Yellow Duck. 
Number two, RTMP stream keys will always be different the next time you try going live again with Yellow Duck. So please take note of this. Last but not least, number three, Instagram Live has a 60 minute limit. So watch that clock because if it goes beyond that, the stream will stop automatically. All right, there you have it, guys. That's how you use OBS to go live on Instagram. If this video has helped you in any way, please give it a like because it does make a difference. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and hitting that notification button for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.